So Miami has its first reported case of coronavirus. CBS Local 4, Jim DeFeed, reported today that uh, our biggest and best hospital, Jackson Memorial Hospital, has told a woman that she probably has coronavirus, but uh, they don't have the testing kits because they haven't been supplied by uh, the government under the domination and cutbacks of the Trump administration with the testing kits. Um, now, Miami's number one industry, some people may not be aware, is tourism, our number one industry. And of course, now tourists have a reason to stay away. And so this is going to hurt Miami. Uh, worse yet, um, for instance, if I go, when I go out to work in the tourist industry tonight, do I wear a mask? Uh, Mr. Trump has forbidden federal employees to disseminate information directly to the press and without the approval of Mike Pence, his administration, he's censoring the news and the information. Uh, after he told a crowd in uh, South Carolina a few days ago that coronavirus is a hoax designed by Democrats and liberal media to make him look bad. And uh, he tried to convince Wall Street that uh, there's nothing going on and gave false figures. Uh, there's 60 cases at the time. He said there was something like 16. Uh, so what, what if you live in Miami? And this apparently will come to a neighborhood near you. Um, one of the things reported by CBS Local is that since they can't even verify that this woman actually has coronavirus nationwide because of Trump cutbacks now. Uh, it's reported that Trump cut back the funds that Obama had allocated to emergencies like this by perhaps more than a half. Um, so um, we can't even get uh, the truth here, let alone know how to, how to protect ourselves. And so you know, what to me is unforgivable is his directive, his, his censorship of the news that we're getting by ordering federal officials not to talk to the press directly and only if it's approved can they say the truth to the American people. It has to be approved by Mike Pence. I, I would submit to you if this was your neighborhood, and it may soon be, how long do you think before your neighborhood has a coronavirus case and then you can't get the information. Should you wear a mask? Should you not wear a mask? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can't even count <coughs> on the government, Trump's administration, telling you the truth. I think that we need congressional hearings. Uh, bear in mind, of course, that Mr. Trump is only asking for $2.5 billion on this. Nancy Pelosi is saying $8 billion, And he's saying maybe he'll accept that much, or maybe he won't, because his signature is required on a bill, right? Uh, so he's, uh, I, I think we need congressional hearings and unless there's something completely, absolutely undoing his censorship, I would say that we need uh, consideration of another article of impeachment. What if this is your neighborhood and it may soon be and people may die as a result of not having, for instance, the testing equipment to determine if they even have coronavirus, et cetera, et cetera.